What's happening YouTube? This is a tutorial how to get Python running on your Android device uh, without any restrictions whatsoever. Okay, so you can call it from uh, your own application and you can also call some raw sockets, okay, which was the whole purpose of me um, getting this to work. So, uh, what you're going to need is a terminal emulator qpython which you can download from the play store and i advise you use root explorer which will make your task immensely easier okay so the first thing you want to do is i'm going to link all the um, scripts in the description okay so you can download you want to open qpython and you want to download the script which is this okay uh, what this is going to do is going to create um, a binary or something that you can run on your sd card now you can just create this. Uh, you can just create this file and just put it on your SD card. But um, I'm just going to show you the exact steps that I took to get this to work. So this is the file. So if we get out of that, and what you want to do is you want to get that and you want to run it. Okay, and then you'll get that. So you exit, and now on your SD card, if you navigate to it. You will have um, this qpy uh, env.sh. Okay, now if we open this, let's just open it with a text viewer. Right, this is the environment that we're going to call when we open our terminal so that we can actually call Python. Alright, so as an example, if I open a terminal emulator. Now I've pre-configured this so it calls su root. You can do that in the preferences. If you hit settings, go to preferences and initial command. Okay, and what I'd have to do now is I'd have to call that script. So we navigate to SD card and then we do qpy env dot sh return and then Python and if all goes well the environment is there and we've got a python shell and we can import for example os and that works okay but what if we wanted the environment there persistently so we didn't have to type in um, the previous command all the time well um, android doesn't have a bash rc that i know of um, but it, what what it does have is a file called um, i'll just show you it make shell so if we go to the Etsy folder and I just passed it, if we go here, we have a mech RC, right? This basically um, gets called when the terminal emulator opens, so it's the environment. Now we can actually alter this. Uh, for now I'm just going to open it in a text view just to show you. All right, so this is, these are the environments. Now all we need to do is just place that script file um, just there, all right? And what that will do is basically run that script when we open the terminal emulator. So what we're gonna do is we go back to our storage, we open this with a text editor. Now you don't have to obviously do all these steps to do that. You can just take the script and, but as I said, I'm just going to show you what I did. So we copy, right? And we go back, we go here, we open this, open with text editor. Now what you want to do, let's get rid of that. What you want to do is you want to paste it right there. Okay. So we long press and paste. Now it should be all good. And we want to save and exit. All right. So if we open that now, view. Okay. So that's saved. So now 
hopefully. All we need to do is um, go to our terminal emulator and just type in Python. Right, so that's brilliant. Okay, just um, as a prerequisite as well, Android brought out a security feature called um, Pi. All right, and you'll see it here. You can look for it online. Now you're unable to call an executable uh, executable from um, an Android application um, if the Android um, system is 5.0 or later. Now I've got 4.4.4 ROM on this, and also on my S4 because. I'm not really bothered about having the latest and greatest Android um, system. I'm just bothered about running Python on my on my device. That's what I care about. So um, I'm able to do that. Now, um, also, if you want to install Scapy, you have a pip console on QPython. We just run it. Now I've already installed it, but you can just do a pip install. Scapey, you'll probably tell me I've already got it. Hopefully, requirement already satisfied, right? Okay, and so the whole purpose of this was um, to be able to run my own scripts from my own application. Um, so I'm able to use, I'm actually able to use the QPython um, terminal to call my own script from my own APK if that makes any sense to you guys. So, for example, I have a test PY here. If I open it, uh, text viewer. All right, so we've got from scapey.all import all, right? So it's just a simple ARP request, which is uh, raw sockets. Now, uh, I know what you guys are thinking. You could just make an APK, call scapey from that and run it. No, it doesn't work. Even if I call the APK or give it super user privileges for some reason, I still can't use raw sockets, so I have to call um, I have to call the QPython um, executable to call my script, which is all good. It still works. So that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. We've got Python running in a shell on Android. Uh, we can call a script, for example, Python test.py. We can also call raw sockets, so it's all good. I wish I had this video two years ago. It would have helped me out a lot. All right, and I'm, I'm hoping um, it helps uh, one or two of you guys out there who want to run Android um, unrestricted on your device. And now remember um, to use a, um, a ROM that's 4.4.4. .4. I haven't tested it with anything um, below 5. That's not that, if that exists and if that makes sense. And if it doesn't, who cares? So uh, stay tuned for some uh, more tutorials coming. We're going to be using... Uh, the leverage of Python on Android, um, unrestricted, uninhibited, uh, with raw sockets, and we're also going to be incorporating Nmap in a couple of tools as well. So it's sort of going to be like a hybrid of Nmap, Python, using art packets and sniffing and all sorts of stuff. So as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you watch, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.